we're writing the equation of a line given a point and a slope. You should take some notes. Let's go. How to write the equation of a line given a point and a slope. First, plug the slope in for m. Choose the point and plug it in as x and y. Solve for b, plug in m and b. Okay? So this is the information that we're going to give. Oh, I have given to me is my point, which is m equals 2. And the point, sorry, which is my slope, m equals 2. And then my point, which is 2 comma 0. Okay? So we're going to find the y-intercept. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in m. We're going to choose x and y. 2 is x, 0 is y. So in our equation, instead of y, I'm going to put a 0. Instead of x, I'm going to put a 2. And instead of m, guess what I'm going to put? 2. So I have 0 equals 2 times 2 plus b. To first multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, and then we're going to subtract. Negative 4 equals b. Ta-da! Ta-da! ta So now I plug them into the equation. y equals 2x minus 4. Final answer. See, it's really not that bad. Okay. Given to me is 1 comma 4 and m equals negative 8. You got x1, y1. You have your slope. So plug in x1 and y1. Plug in your slope. So you see where the m is? The pink m turned into a negative 8. That is because they gave that to us. Right? I have x1, which is a 1, because in the point, they gave that to us, and then the y on the other side of the equation is 4, because that's what they gave to us. First, you want to multiply negative 8 times 1, negative 8. Then you want to get rid of the 8, so add 8 on both sides. So 4 plus 8 is going to give me 12. Cancel out the negative 8 and the positive 8, and then b. So 12 equals b. Now that I have m and I have b, I put them into the equation. Y equals negative 8, because that's what M was, X plus 12, because that's what B was. And this is my final answer. Three minus, I mean three comma negative five. M equals eight. Label x1 and y1 because that's how you're going to know what numbers go into the equation and where they go into the equation, right? So y1 is negative 5, so negative 5 equals m is 8, 8 parentheses, times 3, because x1 is 3, plus b. Multiply first, 8 times 3 is 24. Then we'll get rid of that 24 by moving it to the other side. Negative 29 is what I get when I subtract negative 5 minus 24, and that's my b value. So now I can plug them into the equation. y equals 8x minus 29. You see I'm color coding everything for you. The m is pink. The b is blue. That's what you want. Okay, example number four. I have four comma, negative 3. That's my point. So that's x1 and y1. m equals 1 half. So plug in x1 and y1. So negative 3 equals 1 half for m, 4 for x1 plus b. Multiply first. What's half of 4? 2. Don't, don't make the fraction complicated. What's half of 4? The half of 4 is 2. That's it. So negative 3 equals 2 plus b. Um, minus 2 minus 2. Negative 5 equals b. y equals 1 half x minus 5. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I do have this song. I have this Jasmine Sullivan song, Girl Like Me, stuck in my head. 
I can't get it out. I just keep seeing it. Okay. Um, two more examples. Five, one more. Yeah, five and six. So three comma negative five m equals one third. I have x1, I have y1. Plug them in. So for y1, we plug in negative five equals m, which is negative one third, and then three plus b. So negative one third times three. Negative one. Stop making the fraction complicated. What's a third of three? A third of three is one, and you multiply by a negative, so negative one. Get rid of that negative one. Negative four equals b. Plug that. Plug them jokers in. Y equals negative one third x minus four. Hello. You better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Last example, example number six. We have three comma four, m equals three halves. Okay, mm, x1, y1, x1, y1. What are you gonna write? You should probably try this example by your darn self, to be honest. Is this the one that's gonna come out complicated? Yeah, a little bit actually, Never mind. <laughs> okay, so four equals three halves times three. What's three halves times three? And now you're like, wait, that one's not like an easy fraction. It's very true, it's not. So top times top, three times three is nine over two. Right? Nine over two, I'm gonna subtract that from both sides. So this is where we get a little bit messy here, okay? Um, it's gonna be negative one half B, but you're like, wait a minute. Um, that was a lot of like, where's the side work? Um, you got to do your fractions, you know, so you got to do four over one minus nine over two. You have to get like denominators, right? And then when you get like denominators, then you could subtract. That's how you get negative one over two equals B. Um, I just said all that and here's all the work, right? So four over one minus nine over two, get like denominators. That means multiply four over one times two over two. And that's going to give you 8 over 2. Um, 8 divided by 2 is still 4. So I'm just changing the way my problem looks. So 8 minus 9 is negative 1. And that's how we got that. That's it, guys. In a nutshell. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the video, especially this example with the fraction in it, see if you can do it by yourself. See if you're a real scholar. Okay? Um, and then that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, no, that's not it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell people about the channel. Share the goodness. Don't keep it to yourself, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.